Hey everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, you will see certain tips for the cyber security management. Well, we do a lot of activities on like starting from online shopping, sending emails, uh, to chatting, browsing, and most importantly, online transfer of money. Well, the data which is published for the year 2020-20 says that around 7 lakh cases were registered, which means around 58,000 cases per month and 1,900 cases per day. Isn't it a shocking number? Well, there are certain tips in this video which will definitely help you to increase the cyber security on your devices. Well, uh, if you find this video informative, please share this with your friends and family members. And don't forget to watch the video till the end. Tip number one is a password management. I have seen people keeping password very easy because easy passwords are easy to remember, but you're making things easy for the cyber hackers. So it is always advised to keep the password which has the combination of letters, numbers and special characters. If you find people uh, whose password is password or whose password is 12345, it means he or she need your help. Next point is the modern browser. It is always advised to use the modern browser. Like the browser like Google has all security features. So always use the modern browsers. Next is the periodic updation. It is always advised to update your mobile, computer, laptop on a periodic basis. Because once you update your devices or electronic gadgets, it means they're having the modern features which can save you from the cyber attack. Next is delete the history on a periodic basis. Whenever you're using a common laptop or a common device, and especially when you're doing the financial transaction, it is always advised to delete the browser's history. Next is a spam email. We get thousands of mail in a year. We get hundreds of mail in a day because we are living in the era of digitization. Well, if you're expecting a mail from someone, then and then open the attachment or the given link. Otherwise, don't open the mail sent from the unknown person. Next is a mobile safety. I have always seen people, they're not using uh, any kind of login credentials or the password to do the login to their mobiles. It is always advised to have the safety features or the password to the mobile. Nowadays, the smartphones have a face recognition, fingerprint recognition kind of features or the facilities. So you can definitely use them to increase the safety of your mobile phones. It is always advised to take the backup of your data. Whenever you are using certain computers, probably on a common devices or whenever you're using the laptop. So it is always advised to make the habit of updating or taking the backup of your data. You can take the backup of the data in two ways. One, you can take the backup on the cloud or you can have additional hard disk for the, to take the backup of the data. Next is use of public Wi-Fi. It is always advised not to use the public Wi-Fi because the owner of the Wi-Fi source can get access to your media, your uh, accounts, and there may be a possibility of theft of the data. So unless and until it is not very essential, never use the public Wi-Fi. Next is the personal information. It is always advised keep the personal information personal because whenever it comes to sending certain pictures on the social platforms, people are not aware of, aware of that thin line, what is personal and what is public. So it is always advised not to share the personal information on the social platforms. You should never share your bedroom pictures, your personal uh, pictures or any personal information to the common or the public platform. Next is the netiquette. Netiquette, it means you need to follow certain etiquettes on the internet. You should always accept the friend request from the people, from the person to whom you know. And also it is advised not to share any such pictures. Whenever you're partying, you should not share the party pictures on the public platform. Last but the most important, even if you follow all such guidelines and still you fall in trouble, it is always advised to approach to a cyber crime cell. If you found this video informative, please share this with your friends and family members. Thank you for watching the video.